For a man, if there's any sort of fluid movement, you know, pumping of fluid in the body during an orgasm, then it's very likely not a true non-ejaculatory orgasm. You're experiencing a peak orgasm where your semen is at least trying to move out uh, your penis and holding that back can be quite forceful and can lead to discomfort in the future. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. If you wanna learn more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos and go live. Make sure you get my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. So it's come to my awareness that there is some misconceptions around the male non-ejaculatory orgasm and some other dynamics in relation to this. And I say this because of a lot of the questions that I've been getting about this, right? And one thing in particular that's been really standing out to me recently is this concept of nutting up the spine. A lot of guys say this, right? That you're ejaculating up the spine with this internal orgasm. It's very inaccurate. Physiologically in the body, there is no path for the semen to travel from, you know, the testicles, the epididymis, uh, to the seminal vesicles, up the spine. There's no physiological pathway for that to happen. And I think this misconception comes from a lot of the, uh, both the Indian, the Tantric, and the Taoist teachings of redirecting the sexual energy up the spine, redirecting the orgasmic energy up the spine. And this has been, in my opinion, falsely misinterpreted as an actual movement of semen up the spine or movement of the ejaculate up the spine, right? This simply does not happen. What often happens is that men are using techniques uh, where they go all the way to the point of ejaculation, you know, the point of no return, and they employ tension-based techniques, squeezing the pelvic floor, you know, squeezing a lot of the muscles or manually blocking the semen from moving into urethra by using the million dollar point technique or one of the tantric techniques is to hold the heel against the perineum, blocking that movement, right? What happens most of the time is actually what's called a retrograde ejaculation where the sperm travels backwards because it can't go out the urethra. It goes into the bladder, gets backed up into the bladder. And what good does this do you? It doesn't do you any good because you urinate and you lose all the sperm. You experience the ejaculatory orgasm, but you have the misconception that you've had a dry orgasm because nothing came out. I experienced this myself. When I learned the million dollar technique, I was like, oh, I got it. I got the non-ejaculatory orgasm. But I started to realize that it was feeling exactly the same as an ejaculatory orgasm. The same five, 10 second intense orgasm, spasming of the prostate, and then my erection was gone and my energy was a bit decreased as well. So a lot of guys have this misconception that what's actually happening here is the sperm is being pumped up the spine in this type of orgasm, but this is simply not true. Again, there's no pathway for that to occur in. What this kind of teaching refers to, the movement of the sexual energy of the spine, is not the semen itself, but the essence of the sexual energy, the jing chi, as the Taoists call it. And this happens by working with a microcosmic orbit. You're directing that orgasmic buildup through the orbit. That sexual energy is channeled through the orbit, and that's what's being moved, not the actual semen, right? And so the methods that I'm teaching, when I'm talking about non-ejaculatory orgasm, I'm talking about something very different. Not anything which occurs beyond the point of no return. Once you hit that point, there's often very little you can do to avoid a peak orgasm type experience where your energy moves outwards and you have to recover, right? I'm well aware that the most common technique being taught for men is to go right up to the point of no return, hit it, and then immediately squeeze the pelvic floor for dear life. And that can lead to one of two things. One being a retrograde ejaculation, which I already mentioned, which does you absolutely no good. You might as well just ejaculate in that case. The second case being a very weak ejaculatory spasming in which you don't have a retrograde ejaculation, right? This is what the goal of most of these practices are aimed at is this type of orgasm. But from my experience, it's a very weak orgasm and still genital centered. It's still this very fleeting peak orgasm experience. I was never that impressed by it. So the techniques that I practice and that I'm sharing do not involve hitting the point of no return. And this causes a lot of confusion for men because we've been so conditioned around what we expect orgasm to be like, right? I personally, for years, was expecting the non-ejaculatory orgasm to be the exact same sensations, the exact same experience and feeling as the ejaculatory orgasm minus the ejaculation. When we look at the ejaculatory orgasm, it's basically a building up of tension in the pelvic floor area, in the sexual center, the muscles, the nerves, the tissues here, they start to build all this tension as the stimulation increases, specifically the muscles around the prostate, they start to constrict, they start to tense up. And it's almost like loading a spring. Once you hit your maximum point of tension, you can't hold anymore, the ejaculatory response begins. That spring releases and starts the pumping of the prostate, which is pushing the semen out and you ejaculate. So most men associate this, all of the feelings of this experience as being an orgasm. And that's the only thing that they attribute to being an orgasm, right? But the reality is that this experience of tension building and then releasing through the pumping of the prostate, this is 
the ejaculation response. This is not inherently the orgasm itself. You can actually have this without having an orgasm, right? Orgasm is something different. It can be very subtle and it can take many different forms. So men attribute that sort of building up sensation as this tension starts to increase in the sexual region. They associate that as being the orgasmic buildup. So the thought process here is, well, I must have to get to that maximum point right around the point of no return, right? To experience any sort of orgasm. And so they go right up to the edge and try to hit the point of no return and somehow have a non-ejaculatory orgasm, right? And this will only lead you to fleeting peak orgasmic experiences, right? The shooting outward orgasm, which if that's what you want, that's fine. But for me, I find these quite disappointing, honestly, you know, at least for that being the primary uh, experience of orgasm because you lose a bit of energy. Maybe you lose all your energy, you know what I mean? There's a recovery after these. So what I encourage you to do is kind of let go of this attachment to your familiar experience as far as orgasm, as far as sexual pleasure. No longer associating that ejaculatory buildup feeling, which all of us men are quite familiar with, no longer using that as any sort of indication as to how close you may be to having a non-ejaculatory orgasm. Again, this is something that a lot of men struggle with because the non-ejaculatory orgasm in the context of what I'm speaking about is a much more subtle experience. I think energetic orgasm may be uh, a more accurate description of it because it's quite energetic, but it's very, very tangible and obvious when it's happening as well. It's really not an esoteric thing. It's something you, everyone has probably experienced but forgotten about because they were looking for a more direct and obvious ejaculatory type of experience. The word tantric orgasm, you know, is often used here as well, but even that term could be associated with a certain sexual experience. You know, if you Google tantric orgasm, you'll often find, you know, a hippie looking guy waving his hands over a woman who's naked and she's spazzing out and having, you know, an energetic orgasm. So having the approach of thinking you're going to nut up your spine is inaccurate. It's not going to be an ejaculatory type of orgasm feeling. It's going to be a completely different experience. For a man, if there's any sort of fluid movement, you know, pumping of fluid in the body during an orgasm, then it's very likely not a true non-ejaculatory orgasm. You're experiencing a peak orgasm where your semen is at least trying to move out uh, your penis and holding that back can be quite forceful and can lead to discomfort in the future. So I've talked about how to experience the true non-ejaculatory orgasm in many other videos. You can find out more about that, but basically uh, it requires a completely different approach. It's not about trying to reach any sort of edge and you know hit the threshold experience, so to speak. It's more about simply allowing the energy, the orgasmic energy to build not in an excessive way, not in the way that, you know, it, it creates this tension response and this, this physical buildup of tension in the pelvic floor. It's something much different rather than something that happens over a short period of time. You know, the peak orgasm, obvious beginning, obvious duration of it, obvious end to it. It's more subtle. It's more like a threshold that you move beyond and suddenly you're in this brand new experience, but you can't get there by force. You can't get there by even necessarily specific technique, right? It's something that you really must open your system up to and prepare the body for. That's why sexual Kung Fu is it's holistic training. There's a lot of preparatory groundwork to open up to higher orgasmic experiences, which is very important. And if you're not doing these things, your experience will be limited, right? So things like Qigong, meditation, opening the channels of the body, and then you learn to start circulating the sexual energy internally, opening up the various energy centers of the body, getting more embodied within yourself, feeling your entire body, feeling uh, this openness rather than just trying to lustfully, you know, pound your way into uh, a quick fleeting orgasm. It's a very, very different approach. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want a complete training system and how to open up your body, clear your energy channels, circulate your sexual energy through your entire system so you can evolve into a much deeper experience of non-ejaculatory orgasm, full body orgasm, and be able to have sex for hours and hours, as long as you want. Check out my 12-week course, Multi-Orgasmic Man. You can join the waitlist to be the first to know when I open registration again. There's more information in the link in the description of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. Have a great day, my friends. Thank you.